Welcome back to Camry. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bucket server step by step. Because I'm on the last tutorial, a lot of people were, how do you do this, how do you do that? So I'm also going to show you how to fix some run that beat, your run that bat file, some fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and run, uh, let's go ahead and get started. When I right click your desktop, new folder. I'm going to call it, let's just call it bucket server. Call it your bucket server. Now you just want to open it up. And you, I'll put the link to this link right website right here. And you want to download the recommended or the development, whichever version you want right here. You can see all the old versions right here. So once you download that, you should get this right here. So then you just want to drag, uh, go back into your bucket server, that file you just made, and drag this file in. Now you just want to right click. Uh, you want to rename this to craft bucket not jar so then you wanna make a new text document just wanna call it start dot bat yes so this is the where you, a lot of you get confused if you are on a windows uh, xp xp or vista and your 32 bit, you don't want to use this code right here. This code right here, this is for 64 bits. When you get that error, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this does. Save it. Uh, you see that quick little open and close? It means it can't, it can't find the, uh, it won't, it cannot find your Java build path. This is for 32 bit, uh, not 32 bits, um, 64 bits. So, yeah, it's for you guys. Now, I just want to go ahead and Go inside my old servers and right click this and I want to get my the one that you some people if that the one that I put the, there's two of them you can test both of them sorry I'm very confused right now because a lot of things have been going on and yeah so I want to go ahead and remove all that wait control the wrong one my bad okay let's close all that and let's go back inside or start that back. So you want to copy and paste this. So just I'm gonna go ahead and put 500 mega megabytes, but you can go ahead and put whatever you want on it for you to run it. And I want to change that to craft bucket. So and you want to save this right here. You can go ahead and remove it. This is if you automat if you stop start stop it, it'll start it back up automatically if you want that there. If you don't want it, just you can just remove it like that. Go and save. Yes. Back into the craft bucket. Start it up. Wait for this to generate. So if you want to port forward, there's, I'll try to put some video links down in the description below for you guys to see how to port forward. Port forward, it's very simple, but I, I can't show you right now because I have a different router and it won't allow me to because I'm on a different Wi-Fi and the network. So once we do that, I'm going to close that. So now I'm going to show you some bugs that you can get with your start.bat. Okay, this is one of the bugs. Okay. This bug right here, where you get, just want to name that whatever. Right now, if you get this, unable to access a draw file, you might want to make sure that your whatever you put inside, inside the uh, um the text in here. Attempt to open it. Always takes me some time. Not sure why, but it'll do that for me. So edit and hold pad. If it'll try to search up whatever is right here. So you want to make sure that's what you called this file right here. So I want to edit that to craft bucket dot jar. And now I'm gonna show you this other bug that you can get. Let's put twenty thousand and twenty thousand. Save that. If you get this bug right here, that means you have too much memory right here. So just put five hundred and nine hundred. And it should help you. Let me save that. 
and you can just start it up and it should work. Now we just want to go inside our server properties. If you want your you can switch whatever you want right here. You MODT maximum players. So if you have a Hamachi or whatever you want to use, right now I'm gonna use my local host, so I'm gonna put 0, .0, 0, 0 Make sure this is two five five six five. Control S or save. Go ahead and start it up. Wait for this to start up again. And go ahead and open up Minecraft. We see this weird glitch in this my graphics card. So, sorry for that. I'm trying to get a brand new one. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Five days later. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Now I just want to go here and local host. If you want other players to join, you'll have to search up a video on how to port forward. Or if you want to use Hamachi, it's very simple on how to use Hamachi. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use Hamachi on that opt. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use Hamachi with it. So you go back inside the server properties where you see server IP, open up Hamachi, copy it, and you can go ahead and paste that there and save. want to make sure that's 25565 as well. Once you do that, you can go ahead and restart the server. So I'll, let's go ahead and restart it. Then you want to give this IP address that's on your Hamachi to your friends and they should be able to connect with that IP address and I'll go ahead and show you. Paste. Whoops. Minecraft. Where'd you go? I'm going to start responding again because of that copy and pasting. But yeah, when you pay, give them that IP, it should work. And when they connect through that. But do you want to make sure they are on your same network like this? I'm going to call this test for YouTube. They have to have a matchy too. So once you make that, you want to allow them to join that network and they should be able to join your server with that IP address right there. And it's very simple on how to do it. I don't know why that happens to me. But it's very simple to use. Thanks for watching. It's John from the JCam. If you need any help, please comment down in the description below and I'll try to get to you as fast as possible. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>